Hi, and welcome back to Trifecta Pilates. My name is Beth. In today's Pilates workout, we're gonna be focusing on the abs, and particularly trying to find a nice roll down onto the mat and roll back up, and then incorporating some of the Series 5 exercises. This is gonna be phase one of a workout, and I encourage you to either do this workout on its own, exactly how it is, or to blend it with some of the other phases. If you're ready to get started and focus on the abs, join me on the mat. Let's get started having a seat on our mats, bending the knees, feet down, hands behind the thighs. Inhale through your nose, exhale through your mouth. Feel right where you are on your sits bones. And your next exhale, you're gonna roll and reverse, rolling behind the sits bones, keeping the hands where they are. Inhale, curl right back up and repeat. So this is just our warm up phase. I want you to see rather than leaning back with the upper spine, if you can really curl into your abs and activate from the abs to curl and roll you back, letting the breath help you. Inhale to come back up again. So we want more rounding in the lower spine, less in the upper back. Now we're gonna add on, we're gonna curl, roll back, pause. Take the hands off the thighs as an option. And do a little pulse down, pulse up. Curl down and up. And the curl down, we're gonna see if we can curl down more from that lower spine rather than just upper spine going back. So lower spine goes down more. Breathing out and in. You can always grab behind the thighs as an option. Two more times, two, and one. Roll yourself back up and take your hands to your shoulders. Legs can go straight if you like or they stay bent. Rotate to one side and come back center. Rotate second side and center. Breathing out and in. We're gonna combine this with the roll back in just a moment, but it's nice to feel rotation before we do that. One last time, stay center. Reach your arms forward and bend your legs if they were straight. Reverse, roll back, and now rotate to one side. Come center, rotate second side, and center. The hands can stay on the thighs as an option. And I want you to look at your waist or your pelvis once in a while and your pelvis, your legs stay perfectly still. The rotation's coming from the waist. That's gonna concentrate the work more in the obliques, the side abs. One last time, stay center, roll yourself up, sit nice and tall, and then reverse and roll all the way down onto your low back, your middle back, but no way, not onto the shoulder blades, Take hold of one thigh right below the knee and opposite leg lifts. So the knee is not gonna pull into the nose today. The leg is at tabletop and now switch sides. Breathing out, breathing in, breathing out and in. This is our single leg stretch. Feel low spine, stay nice and heavy on the mat. Legs higher to the ceiling, lower to the floor but keep curling up to your thighs as your hands now go behind your head. So legs keep doing the same thing. You should be feeling a lot of work in the abs, hands behind the head, so there's no work in the neck. Rotating to the bent thigh, switch sides. We're gonna slow it down a little bit, rotate to switch. Breathing out and in. So we slow it down to get more rotation. One more time, stay center. Take the feet down to the floor. Reach your arms on top of the thighs. Roll yourself up as you extend your legs. Reach your arms parallel to the floor. And now exhale, bend spine forward. Arms next to the ears, roll spine up. 
Really want you to see if you can keep your arms next to the ears as you bend your spine forward. Roll spine up. One last time, bend forward. Roll up. Now reach your arms to the ceiling and forward. Reach your arms to the ceiling and forward. So when the arms reach to the ceiling, stretch up, up, up to the ceiling and forward. Stretch up, up, up to the ceiling and forward. One more time, reach and extend up and forward. Now we're gonna use that stretch. We're gonna reverse, roll down, bend the knees, take legs back to tabletop. Stretch arms behind you, circle around onto the knees. Inhale, stretch arms behind you, circle arms around, they come on top of the knees. Stretch arms behind you, circle around on top of the knees. Now take the hands behind the head, stretch legs forward, bend the thighs in. Breathing in and out. One more time. Pause here, take hands onto the knees. Now we combine arms and legs reach, circle bend. Arms and legs reach, Circle bend, breathing in and out, two, and one. Grab behind the thighs, roll yourself up, sit nice and tall. Reach arms forward once again, exhale, bend spine forward for a stretch, roll back up. So we want to use the stretch of the back of the legs in our next exercise, exhale, inhale, Breath out, breath in, two more times, breath out, breath in, and one last time, breath out, and in, bend the knees once again. We're going back to your reverse curl, reverse curl, roll back up, reverse curl, roll back up, breathing out, and in two more times. We add that rotation, so stay back, rotate and center. Rotate second side and center. Pelvis stays still, legs stay still. Get that rotation in the waistline. Keep breathing through. Hands can come behind the thighs but keep the work in the abs one more time each side. Roll yourself up, sit nice and tall, and again reverse, roll yourself down and back, bend the knees. Now reach legs to the ceiling, take hold of one leg and opposite leg splits part way forward. Feel a nice stretch in the back of the leg that you have a hold of. Opposite leg, try to touch the wall on the opposite end of the room. Switch sides and just experience the stretch once again. And now we switch a little faster and do a little pull. So switch, gentle, pull, pull, switch it out. Pull, pull, switch. Here we go, breathing out and in. Legs can be wide away from one another or a little bit more narrow. Keep trying to curl up to your thigh. Feeling a stretch, still feeling the abs engage. I always say we wanna all in Pilates. Now keep that motion going and take the hands behind the head. So head is heavy in the hands, so the work is more in the abs. Still trying to feel the stretching sensations in the back of the leg. We're almost there, we just have to add rotation. Rotate and rotate, breathing out and in. Let the exhale pull the abs in and engage the obliques more. One more time each side. Legs come up, grab behind the thighs, rock yourself up, sit nice and tall. Let the legs extend now and give yourself a nice forward fold stretch taking just a few breaths in this position. Let everything relax. Maybe you gently sway or nod the head. What feels best? 
You can stay in that forward fold or end having a seat, really feeling the connection to your center. Abs definitely working in that short but effective sequence. And this is a sequence you can do all on its own. And if it was super challenging, I encourage you just to keep coming back and trying this. You will get stronger if you stick with it. If you wanna add on to this workout, however, and make it a little bit longer, make sure that you check out the other phases of the workout where we really get into rotation and some arm work, back extension, and leg work. Whatever you choose to do, keep showing up for yourself. And I hope that you have a beautiful day and can join me on the mat soon.